uh, Hayden, you're eight and four, you know, you're going to a bowl. I mean, just how does it feel to cap off the regular season this way? Oh, it's so exciting. And it's just a lot of time and effort that's accumulated into where we are now, uh, eight and four. And it's crazy to think back and the seasons that I've had here and, you know, we've had a lot of struggles and to come back my fifth year and get a chance to go eight and four and win all three trophy games. Uh, it's a great way to go out. Yeah, and Bumper, could you address that? Winning all three and closing out like this? Getting all three trophies was a huge goal for us. And um, like Hayden said, we've been through it. You know, we've been we've been in those two and ten seasons. Um, but anyways, uh, super excited and uh, very proud of this team. We're good. You hear me? Hey, uh, didn't notice, I guess, it was very on his birthday today, and Sam just said he got a game ball. Um, just how happy do you feel for for Barry and and giving him a game ball? All that, you know, because we know what happened in Missouri, obviously. I'm really happy for Coach Odom, and I said in media this week that, you know, he's just – he's a stone-cold killer, and he's the spear of our team. I mean, the tip of the spear. I mean, the guy's just – he's a legend, and – he brings it every single day. I couldn't be so happy for him. I mean, um, his, it's his birthday today, and we went out and beat his, you know, uh, you know the history there, but went out and beat Missouri and <clears throat> got that win for him. I was happy to, that he got the game ball. I was happy to see him excited about that. Mm -hmm. You know, Coach Odom is – he prepares harder than anybody um, you could possibly imagine. He, um, he wanted this one, and he put it in us this week to go out there and get it done. And I'm just so happy that we can go out there and uh, – Get it done for him because he, you know, what he's what he's meant for the University of Arkansas um, should never go unnoticed because he completely turned around a team and a defense and we're forever in his debt. Um, the defense played real well in the first half. But it's a tight game, then the offense comes out and really puts together a good third quarter. KJ hits some big pass plays. You know, Burks and, and Davion. Just what what'd you think of those big plays and, and what they did in the third quarter? You know, we came out and we needed a spark in the third, and we knew that if we continue to play our style of defense that it would hit our offenses, um, you know, run the ball, run the ball, and then they'll hit an explosive. So that's just kind of how it's been all season. Um, this team is very battle-tested. You know, there's we never blink. You know, we go in the locker room no matter the score, and there's not a guy in the locker room that doesn't think we're going to win. And it's just cool to, you know, week in and week out to continue to see that happen and just seeing the fight in everyone's eyes um, is truly special. Yes, for, for both guys, Traylon went over 100 yards receiving for the sixth time in 12 games this year. Um, it's just from a defensive perspective, what's it like watching him make big play after big play, basically on a weekly basis? I mean, he's just a baller, and the guy's just a freak of nature. That's the bottom line. Uh, goes up and makes contested catches, you know, one-on-one -on -one balls, he's going to win. Um, but, I mean, to see his progression as coming in as a freshman, to see where he's at now, I mean, he's just constantly getting better. Gets better and better every single day, every single week he's better. And... Uh, He's a huge spark for our offense. I mean, you give him the ball, usually good things happen. You know, it's it's easily said, and he's he's the definition of greatness. Um, you know, he's got such a great mindset that with people that have the talent that Traylon has, they can take it for so many different directions with it. He's a, such a great person. He's such a great worker. Um, he's one of the greatest, you know, hogs to put that jersey on. And, um, you know, I hope that everyone realizes that. Play on which their running back slung, I think it was slusher around by the face mask. Did that uh, leave any impact on you guys? Um, no, sir. I don't believe so. Other than the penalty, which helped us out. So, and You had a couple of big tackles at the start of the second quarter when Missouri was driving. What was going on on those plays? And then how was the defense kind of able to get some of those kind of stops on drives? Well, I mean, they were just running the same play over and over again, you know, but I just happened to make a better play on one of them than the other, uh, just doing my job. Um, but third down stops are really big, and one of them was a nice play, so. Maybe uh, you can take a first take in that buffer, but I know KJ was in the injury tent some, and look, he was limping a little bit, but he kept, you know, going in there and making plays. What did you guys I guess, think of the toughness he showed today? 
he's he's tough as nails. I mean, he's always been tough as nails and uh, <clears throat> got banged up against Texas A&M and played through pain. And, you know, I mean, when he runs the way that he does, he's going to get beat up. I mean, he likes to run people over. And uh, I love that about him, actually. That gets me fired up. But um, I mean, the guy's tough as nails. He's an ultra competitor, loves to win, loves to compete. So. You want to add anything to that? Or? No, it's perfectly said. You know, he's – He's made a steal at some times with his head. I mean, he just puts it down and says, I don't I don't care who you are, how big you are, I'm going through you. So, you know, I'm glad he's, you know, in a, a black jersey at our practices. <laughs> Sam said you guys will be lifting weights next week, study hall, but you, you get a break from football and you'll find out your bowl assignment, I guess, and then start focusing on the opponent. But how good is it going to be to get, you know, a break from football after, you know, 12 – games and you know t- obviously tough opponents pretty much all the time yeah I mean 12 weeks plus fall camp you know this is a it's a grind and to be able to look back on all the hard work and all the days where you're sitting there just kind of like you know we got a lot we got a lot left you know you're in the dog days of camp and the team never gave up they never flinched no matter what happened this season that's what I think I'm most proud of is you know we lost a couple games and we didn't, we didn't fall. We didn't quit. You know, this team got stronger as the season went on and that's testament coach Pittman, you know, our strength staff and just everyone involved. Said he's actively recruiting you for 2022. Uh, Where do you stand with that? I mean, will you give us some thought? You know, absolutely. Um, I think that we're, um, you know, we're focused on winning this bowl game and then, you know, that will all take care of itself when it needs to. Um, but, you know, a perfect example, you know, Hayden and Grant coming back, it's been such a privilege uh, to play next to them and what they've done for the university. You know, I don't think that people realize the impact that two players coming back can make. And I'm just, I'm so proud that I can, you know, call them friends and, and got to, you know, play next to them. Hey, and you did you feel like you kind of shut down their passing game a little bit? And then they did run the same play a lot, but Beatty wound up with two, I don't know, 215. What'd you think of him too? Um, yeah, well, I mean, they didn't necessarily need to throw the ball. I mean, they were trying to throw the ball a little bit, but, you know, they were running the ball well on us. And uh, they have a great running back who's leading our league for a reason. And, you know, he's a great player, dynamic running back that makes plays in the run game and pass game. But, yeah, our, I mean, after the performance we put on last Saturday to see um, our defensive backs, the way they played today, I was really proud of them. Just before the start of the second half, it looked like you had the team around you uh, out there in the middle of the field. What was, what was the message? You know, there was um, there was a lot of like fire inside of me just because, you know, like I said, with, you know, Hayden and Grant, I wasn't going to let, you know, them go out and not be able to beat Missouri. You know, there's just nothing inside of me was going to let it happen. And I just wanted everyone on the entire team to feel the same way for all the seniors, for everyone. You know, this season, this we needed to end it off right. And uh, beating Missouri was a part of that. Hayden, yeah, as far as getting a mental physical break from football, how how big is that for you guys? And how how forward, how much are you looking forward to it to sort of a Bob, I'm think? really looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> um my body is pretty beat up. So yes, I am really looking forward to it. I can't wait. Thank you all. Thank you all so much.